from the Channel3000.com Alert Center. This is News 3 Now at 6. Thank you for joining us tonight. A UW Hospital patient went to valet his car and it was stolen right in front of the attendants, but no one noticed. Now that was six weeks ago and the car still hasn't been found. Our Amanda Quintana is here with that story. It's new at six. Amanda? That patient called our call for action line saying that day at UW Hospital it was busy and chaotic, but he never thought he'd come out of his appointments to find his car was missing. I'm widowed. Uh, I have cancer, which I'm beating. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm just kind of chugging along, trying to do my thing. Ted Myers has goblet cell carcinoma, fighting the rare cancer with operations, and now for the last five months, chemo. I feel like a big hand pushing down on me, basically. It's like a struggle to to do anything lately. Every two weeks, he drives from his home in Sauk City to Madison's UW Hospital for treatment. Six weeks ago, pulling up to the busy hospital to use valet. I was greeted by a valet attendant and he gave me the slips and everything and I got out and he said, do you know the routine? And I said, well, I sure do. He says, awesome. And I pointed to the keys and he said, perfect. And he just kind of closed my door and walked off to the next the next patient that had pulled in behind me. What he didn't know until five hours later when he handed over his ticket and valet couldn't find his car, it wasn't parked. It was stolen right in front of the hospital. He feels the hospital is responsible, but says they've done absolutely nothing. It's just a, a sorry and they didn't offer me a ride home or asked me how I was getting home or anything. As an apology, he was given two $5 gift cards to the gift shop. Obviously, a, 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 a little resentment, but, you know, I, I look to them for my health, and, and they are, you know, pretty much saving my life at the moment, so what's my next move? What do I do? For weeks, UWPD has exhausted all of its resources looking for the car and the thieves. Through surveillance footage at the hospital and other security cameras that we have in the area, we have been able to positively identify these two individuals and we are very certain this is exactly who we're looking for. William Taylor and Misty Schramm, well known in the criminal justice system. These mugshots from recent crimes in Iowa County. Now, police just can't find them. The two individuals involved were at the hospital for a medical reason. They weren't actually scoping out the hospital. Although Myers is trying to stay positive. I want to live, so I'm going to focus on that. The car meant a lot. My wife and I picked it out together uh, like eight months before she died. Just like his diagnosis, it's just another thing. He's sure he'll survive. I lost my wife two years ago, my sister three months after that. I mean, I've been through a lot, so this is just like another rung in the ladder that we gotta climb over. Myers had to buy a new car, adding a car payment on top of his medical treatment. As for UW Hospital, they say this has never happened before in the 12 years of their valet program. And quote, we have taken steps to prevent this from happening again. We provided support to Mr. Myers in the aftermath of this crime and have apologized for this unfortunate experience. Amanda, thank you. The 21-year-old suspected of killing a Blue Mount veteran will head to trial. At his initial court appearance today, we learn new details about the charges against Riley Berg, according to the medical examiner Nicholas Day was out jogging in the middle of the afternoon when he was struck by a bullet fired from behind him with a high-powered rifle. The doctor testified the gunshot hit his hip, could have been survivable, but his alleged attacker then cut his throat multiple times. Berg's next court, next court date has not yet been set. Attorney General Josh Call says Wisconsin has joined a multi-state investigation into Jewel Labs and the company's marketing and sales practices targeting kids. The investigation will look into Jewel's statements about nicotine content, risks, safety, and effectiveness as a smoking cessation device. According to a news release between between 2014 and 2018, the percentage of high school students who reported using e-cigarettes increased from just under 8% to over 20%. The Middleton Cross Plains School District staff member who allegedly separated students by race during a test in October is resigning. That teacher who has not been identified will resign effective June 30th. They will remain on paid leave until then. The school board voted on the employee's contract last night, but the vote was canceled due to the resignation. The district released a statement following the employee's resignation apologizing for the situation, saying these wounds don't heal automatically and we know there is work that must continue 
continue to repair the trust that we lost. Black community leaders are worried about the Madison School District decision for the next superintendent of schools. In January, the district announced 39-year-old Matthew Gutierrez will take over the position June 1st. Black community leaders, including some pastors, sent a letter to the district last week expressing their concern, saying they have little confidence he will be able to adequately respond to the concerns of black students or lead a district that is much larger than his current one in Seguin, Texas. Let's turn things over to weather now. That's snow moving off to the south and east that missed us. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti, our first born forecast. There might be a couple of flurries that may get this far northward into Wisconsin, but for the most part, you're right. The accumulating snows from Chicago southward. As we check out the live view from the Queen Bee Radio Skycam in Platteville, we have the clouds from this weather system. We have the breezy northerly winds and the cold temperatures, but the snow is staying to our south. You can see on Doppler track, it's pretty much down toward the Chicago area and southern Lake Michigan and moving away from us. Maybe a few flurries making it into far southeastern Wisconsin on high resolution Doppler. A lot of that may not even be reaching the ground. Otherwise, look for cloudy skies overnight. A few flurries southeast of Madison possible with low temperatures in the mid-20s. High temperatures tomorrow will be around 30. We could see a couple of flurries in the afternoon. Cold weather will be with us through the end of the week, but a warm ups on the way at the end of the weekend. I'll have more details on weather in a few minutes. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources is conducting an investigation into the illegal shooting of two bald eagles. They were shot near Antigo. The eagles were initially admitted to the Northern Wisconsin Bird Rehabilitation Center, but both died. Bald eagles are protected by multiple federal laws, and the penalty for violating the Protection Act is one year in prison and a $100,000 fine for the first offense. Governor Evers today announced a $29 million Harbor Assistance Program grant for improvements needed at the Port of Marinette. Marinette Marine uses that port. The company has been contracted by the U.S. military for years building the latest warships. The governor says the shipyard improvements ensure that Marinette Marine can continue to compete for U.S. naval contracts and provide the area with good paying family supporting jobs. For many people in need of legal help, consulting a lawyer can be very expensive and sometimes out of reach, but now a local group of organizations along with Madison College are providing a new opportunity for people to get free legal help. We have a application process where folks can go on the Madison College website and make a request for legal services. And then we have partners at Ascendium Education who schedule in uh, clients with the appropriate legal services provider. And we've they also have a special panel discussion happening tomorrow. Wisconsin Appeals Court Judge Brian Blanchard will moderate. It'll be held at Madison College's Goodman South Campus, 1130 in the morning until 1:30 in the afternoon. The Village of Monticello about to have broadband internet for the first time ever. Spectrum is installing the service to the rural community. Amy Reed joins us now to explain what this means to the village. To really understand the daily irritation for people in Monticello, I'm going to need everyone with fast internet to remember the early 2000s. Remember dealing with slow speeds, spotty connection, constantly restarting the router. That's exactly what this village is ready to leave behind. Definitely rolling areas and some, some nice hills. Heather Davis likes where she calls home. It's nice to live up there. One problem. It's slow um, and we might not have the best connection. So we think an email is being sent. We don't know for sure if it is or not. The internet. And then with teenage daughters in the house too, uh, Wi-Fi is an issue. People in Monticello only have a couple options. Lucky for Heather, one is right across from her work, but no one in town would really call it high speed. Village President Leora Miller sees the impact. Well, it's hard for our businesses. It's hard for our residents. You know, anybody that would want to work from home you know, it's hard when you don't have fast, reliable internet. That's all about to change, though. Spectrum crews were on the ground today running the village's first broadband line, hopefully fixing an issue lawmakers have tried to tackle for years, rural broadband. State Senator John Erpenbach in particular. To me, it's just, it's just a great leveler. Everybody should have access to it. They don't have to take it and they don't want it, but they have to have access to it. He's happy and hopeful to see services expand to this community that's been aching for choice for years. And while residents are still keeping their reservations that speeds will get better and stay that way, they are hopeful too. So I hope that, that it brings more businesses um, and more residents because that's one complaint I have always heard is that we don't offer enough options or fast enough and reliable internet. This effort on Spectrum's part is its first of three villages. They also said they'll put in broadband in Orfordville and Footville 
in the coming months. Amy, thank you. Some bad news today for a local middle school robotics club that was preparing for the trip of a lifetime this summer. The Beaver Dam robotics team was going to be one of just seven U.S. teams heading to Japan in May for an international competition. But last night, organizers of the event canceled it due to the spread of coronavirus. The team says as of now, they are waiting to hear if they'll be reassigned to a different competition. Oh, that's disappointing. That tough. That's mm -hmm. tough. We'll see what happens. All right, still to come tonight at 6, getting into the summer spirit. You can now purchase package ticket deals for this year's CrossFit Games. But first, a celebration unlike any other involving a tasty treat that is difficult to pronounce. That story is up next. And there's more local news tonight at 10. We're hearing from the co-founder of the Black Panthers. He's in Madison today. We'll have his message tonight at 10. You wouldn't go to Stanton, would you, Fergus? You don't think that Stanton's glasses are more beautiful than mine, do you? I am going to ask you one last time. At Stanton Optical, get two pair for $59.95, plus a free eye exam. When being sick isn't as bad as not knowing why you're sick. When questions lead to confusion. And angst and anxiety. When it feels like there's a tiger chasing you into the darkness. And all you want is a little light. A little hope. This is when you need the best of the best. Doctors who don't just perform cutting edge procedures and treatments. Doctors who invent them. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. The new year is well underway. It's time to shake off the dust and get a jump start on your home improvement projects with Felco. For a limited time, save 40% on our energy efficient windows. And if you get your home windows replaced now, you can take advantage of no interest until 2021. This is an opportunity you don't want to pass up. 40% off and Saturday. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Felco. The new iPhone 11 runs on Straight Talk without a contract and a plan that's up to half the cost of big carriers. With the new ultra-wide camera, your shareable moments are ultra-shareable. Because you're on a network that's more than just big talk. The new iPhone 11. Now get the unlimited plan for just 45 bucks a month on America's best 4G LTE networks. Straight Talk Wireless, everything for less. They look great. They're affordable. Stanton, how do you do it? Oh, nice. Are those... Ah, get out! <gasps> At Stanton Optical, get two pair for $59.95, plus a free eye exam. Extravagant costumes, parades, and a party unlike any other today in downtown New Orleans. Today... It was Fat Tuesday, the finale of the carnival season. Carnival season began January 6th and ends on Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras is the biggest celebration New Orleans hosts every year. The revelry of Mardi Gras isn't the only way to celebrate the day before Lent. In parts of the Midwest, including here in Madison, people celebrate Punchki Day. A Punchki is a traditional Polish pastry filled with fruit or custard and coated in sugar. They are eaten on Fat Tuesday as an indulgence before the beginning of Lent. And at Lane's Bakery on Park Street, that makes for a busy day. A regular donut is basically uh, just deep fried. Where this it takes a lot more preparation. It's a raised donut and filled. It's a lighter type of a pastry. Strawberry, cherry, even the prune filling is good. <laughs> Eating punchki has been a European tradition going back to the Middle Ages. Making them was a way to use up all those ingredients in the pantry before Lenten fasting began. Is it bad that's all I've eaten today is punchkis? That's uh, probably not. No, probably you're, you're good. You're yeah. fine. Uh -huh. To burn off those punchkis, how about some <laughs> CrossFit ticket packages for the 2020 Reebok CrossFit Games are now on sale. According to a news release, options for the package start at $225. Week-long festival tickets will cost $99. Single-day tickets will go on sale at a later date. Those games, once again, will be held at the Aligned Energy Center July 29th through August 2nd. The new location of Madison's Penny Library is now stocked with books but won't be opening for a few more weeks. The library currently in the process of moving into its new permanent location. That'll be 516 Cottage Grove Road. The new space will feature expanded meeting spaces, better spaces for children and teens, an outdoor event space, and a drive-through book drop. They are planning for a grand opening on March 12th.
And a programming reminder for tonight, CBS News is co-hosting a Democratic presidential debate tonight in Charleston, South Carolina. You can watch it right here on News 3 Now starting at 7 p.m. Central Time. We will also have a recap tonight on News 3 Now at 10. Still to come tonight at 6, managers and coaches head to Indianapolis for the NFL Combine. We'll hear from Packers head coach Matt LaFleur in sports. But first, any chances for snow today? Well, those chances have come and gone. Meteorologist Gary Canalti, his full firstborn forecast coming up next. Get more for your kitchen now with the Brothers Main Big Kitchen Upgrade Sale. We want you to absolutely love your new kitchen, so you'll get big, big savings on the latest incredible products from GE and our risk-free 30-day price and satisfaction guarantee. We want you to be 100% satisfied every time. That's why we're the more store. The big kitchen upgrade sale with more selection, more savings, and more kitchen. Now at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938. My fellow Americans, I stand before you today humbled because the President's Day sale at Denver Mattress has been extended. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every thousand you spend. And check out the Doctor's Choice Plush or Firm, only $599.99. Plus, check out adjustable bases starting as low as $499. And for the budget-minded, get the Summit Queen, only $189.99. Plus, seven years, no interest financing. But hurry, the extended President's Day sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. What makes you one of a kind? I can ride a unicycle. Acting's my passion. I love this. Time to embrace your uniqueness by taking the BU Pledge, a promise to celebrate yourself and your friends for being exactly who you are. Visit Channel 3000's Time for Kids page to sign the online pledge and enter to win cool giveaways. Come on and take the BU Pledge. SSM Health and News 3 Now encourage you to take part in the BU movement. You're welcome. Yeah. Have fun. Do this, Dad. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Go. Oh, oh, man, 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 look at that. Ready on for takeoff. Oh. I'm looking for these because I want to catch one. Cars is starting the new year with a bang. Buy a 2018 new body style Chevy Equinox for only $14,995 or $239 per month, all with factory warranty. That's right. For the new year, Goban Cars is selling 2018 new body style Chevy Equinoxes for $14,995 or $239 per month. So come in today and get your 2018 Chevy Equinox for only $14,995 or $239 per month. Go to Goban Cars East or West. You gotta go to Goban. GobanCars.com. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti joining us now. He loves Chicago so much, he sent all that weather down there. We don't have to deal with any of that. Yeah, better somebody else deals with a fairly significant winter storm than us. But uh, just a few flurries making it this far northward into Wisconsin. I uh, haven't even seen surface reports of flurries reaching the ground yet, but it's possible there could be some in Racine, Kenosha counties, maybe southern Walworth County, south of uh, uh, Lake Geneva, and maybe even the southern portion of Rock County, areas south and east of Madison would stand the best chances of seeing any flurries tonight. But you can see most of the snow is in the Chicago area of Michigan and Indiana and basically moving away from us to the north. Some lake effect snow showers and a couple of flurries up near uh, Lake Superior. But all the winter weather advisories are to our south and to our east. Things look pretty quiet now for the next few days. In fact, three things you need to know in the forecast. It'll be cold with temperatures dropping back to around 30 for tomorrow, 20s for Thursday and Friday and low 30s for Saturday. But then a quick warm up takes place. By Sunday, temperatures are already back in the 40s, and we'll be in the 40s for much of next week. Wednesday might not quite make 40 degrees, but every other day I have uh, at least at or above 40 degrees. And the next storm system for Monday and Tuesday of next week will be warm enough that we'll see mainly rain showers from it, and uh, that could mix with a little bit of snow before ending on Wednesday, but should not amount to anything. Over the next 48 hours, our temperatures will be a little bit colder, but not a dramatic plunge in temperatures. Uh, we'll see low temperatures by tomorrow night down into the 
teens. High temperatures around 30 for tomorrow and probably mid 20s for Thursday. But even the wind chills stay tolerable as the winds lighten up a bit. So we're not dealing with the brisk winds like we had uh, for much of the day today. On future track, you can see the snow moving away from us. And then it's just the northerly winds and the clouds sticking around for tomorrow. There could be a couple of flurries that pop up in the afternoon, but those really won't amount to very much. And then we'll see skies actually turn uh, partly cloudy for tomorrow night and variably cloudy on Thursday. That means uh, low temperatures will drop into the teens and highs on Thursday will stay in the mid uh, 20s. We'll probably make the upper 20s a little more sunshine as we head into Friday. But right now on weather track, our upper level ones are still from the southwest. To the west, there's a dip in the jet stream and that'll drive the rest of the snow back in parts of Nebraska and Kansas to the south and east where it'll mainly become rain as it pushes eastward, but will stay well to the south of us. We don't see the jet stream coming straight southward out of Canada, so we're just getting a little taste of colder air. The bulk of the colder air is staying up near the U.S.-Canadian border, and you can see on the surface weather map, the main area of low pressure now is uh, around Cincinnati, but the snow extends back to the north and west, so the surface area of low pressure is kind of cut off from the upper level support. That means that the snow is not as heavy as it would be with a normal winter storm, and temperatures are not dramatically colder behind it, so we're just looking for a gradual cool down in temperatures over the next couple of days. For tomorrow, a cloudy, breezy day, high temperature around 30, and maybe a couple of flurries in the afternoon. Otherwise, 7 to 10 day forecast shows cold temperatures through Saturday, a warm up on Sunday, some rain showers the first part of next week, maybe mixing with snow before ending on Wednesday, then nice weather at the end of next week. Well, Wisconsin with a legit shot to win the Big Ten regular season, but it's not completely up to the Badgers. We'll have the story next in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Papa Murphy's, we're making flavor magic for just $9. Introducing the new Combo Magnifico, a magical combination of giant pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, and onions, all for just $9. Bake it yourself, then make it disappear. We make it, you bake it, Papa Murphy's. Let's see. Why do professional builders and remodelers choose nuns? Looks to be reason number 245. Wow. Maybe it's that nuns takes care of just about everything. Oof. Yeah. That might not be the case when you shop online. So, why should you choose nuns? Well, isn't it obvious? Nuns. Kitchen, bath, and flooring. You know who really loves fresh food? Amateur chefs. Stay-at-home parents. Salad lovers. Barbecuers. Smorgasborders. Or dervers. Fondueurs. And flambeers. Oh, midnight snackers. Brown baggers. Bakers. And throw it in the microwavers. At Pick and Save, you can get all the fresh you want at a great price with same-day pickup and delivery. Because we believe in fresh for everyone. Choosing a window replacement company is tough. We asked our customers why they love their new Champion windows. The working with Champion was such a great experience that they've made our home much more comfortable now. We have saved 25 to 30% on our energy bill since installing the windows, which blew my mind. Right now, Champion Comfort 365 windows are buy two, get one free. Plus, buy now and pay nothing for a year. I love my new Champion windows. Let Champion help you fall in love with your home. Book your free in-home consultation online or call 888-930-CHAMPION today. Tired of the cold? Then warm up with winter cocktails, spirits, food, and live music at Madison Magazine's Top Shelf Winter Taste. It's March 9th from 6 to 9 at the beautiful Edgewater Hotel. Tickets now available at madisonmagazineexperience.com. Pick up a copy of Madison Magazine and have the city at your fingertips. Dining, entertainment, where to go and what to see. Original reporting, local business, and politics. Pick up the latest issue on newsstands now. News 3 Now and Channel 3000 put top stories and breaking news at your fingertips. Video alerts and forecasts. Clean, simple, and fast. Download the Channel 3000 app today. Setting the stage for the visually impaired. Lights are dimming. The story takes place in Georgia. The voice behind Overture Center's live audio description and how the service is enriching the theater experience for those in need. It enhances it immensely. Thursday on News 3 Now at 10.
postseason games left for the Badgers with a chance to win the Big Ten. The players are definitely very aware of what the conference standings look like, but they know they have to focus on it all, as cliche as it, as it is, one game at a time because they haven't played their best on the road, and that's the next challenge that lies ahead, a game at Michigan on Thursday. And the Wolverines just as hot as the Badgers are right now, winning seven of their last eight games. And with Wisconsin just two games behind top-ranked Maryland, they know they've got to win and for some other things to happen, like a Terrapins loss or two or three. We really want Maryland to lose a few more. Uh, please, Maryland, if you're watching, <laughs> lose a couple more. Um, but, yeah, I know that they're at the top, and we really have a chance to do something special at the end of this year if we continue to win. Um, so we're focused on this next game. This next one's huge, um, playing at Michigan. Uh, we really, really need to steal this one um, to keep our name up there in the, in the top two. But the biggest thing is just continue to do what we've been doing. Um, that's win basketball games, play our game. Um, play physical, play hard, be aggressive, um, play confident. Back-to-back -back nights for the Bucks, and tonight the team is up north in Toronto, where the Raptors are seven games behind them in the Eastern Conference. The Bucks looking for win number 50 this season tonight, about two weeks earlier than they got win 50 last year. Tip off in just a few minutes. Well, NFL coaches and general managers will check out the next generation of talent this week at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis, hoping to spot the next Blake Martinez or Devontae Adams to add to the Packers roster come the draft. And for head coach Matt LaFleur, year one under his belt, year two, feels a little less stressful for sure. Well, a year ago, was, it's just like scramble mode. You're trying to get everybody on the same page and implement your your offense, defense, and special team systems. And um, now it, it really gives you a chance. Like I said, the foundation's been laid. The systems are in place. It's how do we refine those in order to, to get the most of, out of our players. And also, you know, anytime you get to add to your roster, I mean, that, that's an exciting time. And we'll see what a few Badgers have been up to this week and how hard they've been training. Amherst native Tyler Biotish will get the stage tomorrow. The Badgers center left a year early after winning Wisconsin's first Remington Trophy in program history. Also on deck tomorrow, Brown Deer native Zach Bond. He had some legit numbers during his senior year. 53 solo tackles, 12 and a half sacks, and one interception. Finally tonight, what would you do for Thin Mint? Well, one very smart Girl Scout brought a box of Thin Mint cookies to the Guardians Battlehawks XFL game this weekend, held up a sign to the gang. She's the hero here, saying she would give a player a box, but only if she got a football return. <laughs> the Battlehawks defensive tackle, Casey Sales, he couldn't even wait. He had to open that box on the field, grab a Thin Mint, a little extra carbs, you know, to play the game. I love he's pounding those Thin Mints <laughs> right out there on the field. How could you resist? I love Thin Mints. You can hide wow. them under your wristbands during games, too, oh, yeah. and just sneak a little snack. And your helmet, you too. Yeah. Future sales and market. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That is pretty impressive, little mm -hmm. sales lady. Mm -hmm. All right, Gary, final check. Well, uh, the snowstorm missing us to the south across Illinois. It's in the Chicago area, but moving away from us, maybe a few flurries making it into far southeastern Wisconsin. Could see a flurry or two north and, or south and east of Madison tonight. Cloud cover will keep our temperatures from falling off too rapidly. Be in the mid-20s by tomorrow morning. Look for a high tomorrow of about 30, maybe a couple of flurries tomorrow afternoon. Cold weather sticking around through Saturday, but then a quick warm-up. Temperatures jump up into the low 40s on Sunday and stay in the 40s for the most part for next week. Rain Monday and Tuesday, maybe uh, ending as a mix of rain and snow Wednesday when the temperature might not hit 40, but back to the 40s for Thursday and Friday. All right, Gary, thank you, and thanks for joining us for News for Now at 6. Enjoy your evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.